All right, guys, we're going to be using citrus strip to remove paint off of cast iron parts. Better get the safety stuff out. You don't want to be messing with uh, chemicals like this. So we've got some rubber gloves, some safety glasses. Put them on. Get these gloves on and uh, other stuff. We've got some paint brushes here. We've got this piece right here, and this uh, goes on the back side of the uh, carriage. And it's what uh, keeps the carriage from tipping up. And there's a little bit of paint sort of down here. Still a little bit of rust on this. Got to de-rust that yet. Some on the back. And the paint that is on these parts, this is some of the worst paint I've ever seen for trying to get to come loose. It does get affected by the citrus strip. Um, but it just kind of gets a little sort of gummy and you can scrub on it and brush it. You know, it'll, it'll come off. Believe me, it ain't coming off any other way. Uh, Maybe with some power tools and sanding or something like that, but probably this stuff has lead in it, so I really would rather not uh, get it airborne. I don't want to be breathing that. Anyway, let's get down to business here. Okay, guys, if you want to use any of the products that I use here in the shop, uh, check in the description. I have uh, affiliate links uh, for the Citrus Strip, and uh, I also use TubeBuddy, and there's probably some other stuff that I'll be putting in there also. Just pour a little bit on here. And just kind of brush this stuff in. It's pretty easy to put on. And let me tell you what, this stuff is slippery once you get it on stuff. Be shy with it either. Put a pretty good, pretty good amount on it. I'll probably just do the, the top of this here first, and then we'll come back and we'll do the other side later. All right, there's that one. And we'll probably kind of do the same thing here with the bottom half of the steady rest. As well. Here. Pour a little bit down in there and then I can just use it for a paint bucket, huh? Alrighty. Now the big piece. This one here is probably got the most paint on it. It looks like it might even have a couple of uh, layers of Maybe a little bit more modern paint. I think we'll uh, try to do the inside first and then we'll uh, flip it over later and we'll do the outside. I got one more part here. I almost forgot about it. Let's see if we can get up a little bit closer. And you can kind of see the uh, the paint on here. It's not super great amounts. Mostly back in here and stuff where, you know, nothing ever touches that. In fact, that's on the, uh, no, that's on the outside. But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get that off. Pull these screws out of here. This stuff goes on there pretty easy, and it's kind of a... Uh, it's a gel, so it kind of stays put and goes on nice and thick. Um, you know, Dave over at Crafted said he's, he's used this and had had trouble with it uh, drying out, you know, and I, I, I would certainly say you definitely don't want to do this somewhere where it's going to be hot. Uh, it's probably in the 50s or 60s or something here inside the shop, so it's not too bad. I don't think it's going to dry out very fast supposed to work for 24 hours. Okay, and you can see some of that a uh, little bit more modern paint is starting to, to bubble up. We're going to let this sit on here for a little while. It's looking pretty nasty right now though, isn't it? And you know, another nice thing about this stuff is it's actually biodegradable. I don't know exactly what they make it out of, but uh, 
I've seen some of the guys, they, they strip some pretty heavy stuff off of uh, big heavy castings. Uh, oh gosh, what's his name? I think it's Brad Jacobs. Uh, forgive me if I'm getting it wrong with the basement machine shop. Uh, he does a lot of this kind of work too. And this I think is, I think this is his uh, favorite stripping material. Anyway, I'll put a link up there at the top. You can check out his channel. We're back. It's been about uh, 14 hours. Got a couple of new tools here for cleaning this stuff up. Some uh, stainless steel brushes. Big one, small one. A little spatula here. That might be useful. Not sure how well it's going to hold up in the uh, in the chemical. Anyway, so I got my safety glasses and gloves on. Boy, this stuff is slippery. And uh, I'm not sure why, but this stuff is kind of kind of got a little bit rusty here over the day. I'm not sure what that's about. But anyway, I'll just try scrubbing on this stuff and see what happens. And you can see, you know, it's still wet, so that that means it should still be active. And in fact, even for you know another. 10 12 hours or so probably all right we'll go rinse this off and we'll have a look at it i uh, washed this off with really hot water and kind of dried it off with a paper towel and uh, you can see i mean that's gotten all the paint off of it and there's a little bit of pitting and stuff here. I don't know how well it shows up, but... Uh, so we'll get some paint on this thing. And I mean, like, right now I'm going to go paint it before it starts to really rust. I can see it's already starting to get a little bit of flash rusting on here, but I'll uh, clean that off really quick before I, before I get paint on there. Uh, but I'm using Rust-Oleum anyway, so it, uh, it should kind of help with, with any minor rust that happens. Oh, I get this bar here. Brush this thing off. Now we only did one face of this thing here, or well, we did the sides too, but we didn't do the bottom because I had to sit on something. Brush that off. I can see the paint's coming off really good. Got that all scrubbed down. Let's go uh, rinse this here off with the hot water. Get it all cleaned up and throw some paint on there. Well, let's take a look at this door and see how it's cleaning up. Well, I've scrubbed on this pretty good here. Um, gonna go wash it off and uh, we'll see what we got left on here. I'm sure there's still probably a little bit more paint maybe left here, but uh, we might have to reapply. We washed off all the uh, cleaning material and come back over here and there's some pretty goopy stuff here left over. And it, it looks like grease, sort of. But I think for the most part, this is actually paint, but that's kind of what happens to this stuff after it's been eaten up by the citrus strip. This is not a very good tool for getting into this corner here. We'll scrape some of this stuff off and then we'll, we'll hit it with another coat. I tried using the plastic spatula, but it it couldn't cut it. Too tough. It's amazing how 
how much that stuff is, how salt it is still after being, being soaked in acid here, essentially. Quite a bit more up here, too. This here is something sort of interesting. So you've got the cast iron gear cover, and this is a steel pin, and it's set into it, right? But if you look here, this is this is babbitting. So this was kind of a way they were able to uh, do things a little bit cheaper back in the days. They would this may have even just been a rough cast hole in there, or they might have you know drilled it out with a drill press or something. But I would suspect it probably wasn't even that well finished. But they would have a jig that they could set this thing in and put this pin in. Then they put some, you know, babbitting putty around the outside of this so it wouldn't leak past it. And then they could just pour babbit into here. And once it's cooled off, this thing is ready to go. You know, so you wouldn't have to go in and, you know, very accurately drill this whole board out, you know, press in a pin or, or you know, fix it with a screw or something like that. And I mean, this is, you know... This is a very secure method, you know, it stood the test of time here, it was 90 odd years or whatever, however old this machine is. Uh, I know I've seen this described somewhere else in one of my old books, I'll have to, I'll have to find it. Alright, that's good enough of that stuff there for right now. Let me switch my gloves and put on my, my heavy chemical gloves. Throw these ones away. And this probably will get the rest of this stuff off of here. A nice thing about this stuff smells like oranges. It's pretty pleasant actually. Alrighty, we'll have to let this sit for a little bit, and then we'll come back and take a look at it again. Alright, well, if you guys like this kind of content, uh, why don't you uh, click on the old horizontal mill over here in the corner, and uh, check the videos that will be popping up here in just a second.